Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of WrestleWorld. Uh, I am looking forward to today's game, and I'm not looking forward to today's game. Uh, reason being is it's absolutely pissing it down with rain. Uh, there's no way it's going to stop, it's going to rain all day. And we're playing on Astro as well, so there's no way this game is getting called off. And uh, the reason why I'm looking forward to it is it's a huge championship clash. Two teams uh, fighting for the league title, uh, Olympia versus... Northwest Wanderers, uh, so we've refed Northwest Wanderers a few times. Uh, we've never refed Olympia, but they've been putting in some big results 10 0, 10 1, 7 3 against the uh, undefeated league leaders a few weeks ago, so they're not undefeated anymore. Uh, so, yeah, they've been putting in some big results, so it's going to be a very competitive game of football. Uh, don't even know if I'm going to be able to record, going to have the big umbrella out, so the camera might catch a bit of the umbrella uh, depending how we cover it. But yeah, um, probably not going to do much recording as soon as I leave my house because the rain is just going to ruin everything. Oh, also, I forgot to mention that just before I stopped playing footballs on uh, Saturdays and Sundays, uh, I nearly signed for Olympia. Uh, so I had a friend that played for him and then he was going to bring me in. I was talking to the manager and I was about to go to uh, training. Like, it was just a six side match at Pauli and I broke my thumb. Uh, so I still got an x-ray actually. So I'll put the x-ray here. Uh, I think I circled the bit where it broke, if I can remember right. But yeah, I was playing at Power League, uh, got tripped over and just landed awkwardly. Uh, and then when I got up, my thumb was like out of place. So I thought I just like dislocated it. So I kind of like pulled it up, heard a few cracks, uh, probably made it worse. That's probably when it actually broke. Uh, carried on playing to the end, then went hospital after. Yeah, they said it was broke. I was in a cast for about five or six weeks. And uh, yeah, then I just, yeah really stopped playing football after that, couldn't actually be bothered. Uh, but yeah, so I nearly signed for Olympia, uh, still the same manager, so I'm gonna say hello to him and mention it. But yeah, uh, crazy that they've come from the Gobble League now to the Barnet League. And uh, yeah, they're kind of, they're doing well, they're doing well. So yeah, I'm gonna make our way to the pitch and uh, hopefully it's a decent game of football. Let's get right into the game. Yes, normally we start from kickoff, but the cameraman forgot to press the call and finally realized 13 minutes into the first half. Luckily, we didn't miss much. Uh, we joined the game 13 minutes in at nil-nil, and as you can see, it's raining heavily. Uh, so let's get right into it. Well, what a time to start recording 45 seconds after he realised uh, Olympia go and score. Mistake there from the centre-back and keeper. And they leave it for a tap in for the Olympia player. 1 0 to Olympia. As you saw there, the assistant manager or coach are unhappy with that call. Blatant handball, uh, saying F off as well. First and final warning tells me to F off, he'll be watching from outside the cage. So in between the first goal and the equaliser, I've blown my whistle twice for two pushes and that is it. Both teams wanting to play football at the moment. A great interception by the centre-back, great one-two uh, and he's continued his run and that's a great finish to be fair. Good football there by Northwest Wanderers and they're back in it. Just showing you a foul I've given for Northwest Wanderers. Again, this first half, I've not really had much to do. The intensity's been high, the football's been good, uh, and that's it, really. And I'm just about to blow for the half-time whistle. Uh, really not a lot for me to do in this first half. A few obvious fouls, but that's about it. A head injury, that's why there was three minutes added time. Uh, let's just get straight into the second half. Hopefully, it's a bit more exciting. And my cameraman missed the second half kickoff, but we have the full half this time. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Just focus on the two people now challenging for the ball. Uh, you can see they're both battling for it. And then just leaves a little like shoulder in his chest or something. He goes down holding his uh, chin. You can hear the assistant manager shouting ref. And then uh, I'll just leave it to play. You can hear what he says to his own player. But I have a feeling it's going to start to get a little bit heated. Go, 
So it's the first booking of the game for the number 22 for North West Wanderers. Uh, they're just complaining that it's his first one. But uh, just from experience through this season and last season, good first half. I didn't want it getting bad. So a uh, few bookings are coming just to keep the game under control. And just like that, Olympia take the lead uh, early into the second half. So Northwest Wanderers were doing a sub, blew the whistle, uh, keeper takes the goal kick, centre back gives it away, and uh, Olympia punish really. And these next few minutes for Northwest Wanderers are absolutely chaos, uh, but you'll see what I mean from it. <laughs> And that's another mistake from Northwest Wanderers from nothing as well. Uh, they take the throw in and they passes it across the face of goal. First time shot. I'm going to pause it here because you can see on the left, uh, the guy stays on side. I'm calling off sides, but he stays on side. He runs off the number 18, I believe. Uh, so yeah, he keeps himself on side. Uh, keeper makes the save and then uh, he just follows in with the rebound. Now it's 3-1 to Olympia. Absolute chaos for Northwest Wanderers. Uh, easy clearance. The centre back just misses the ball, and it's a great finish from the Olympia striker. I told you, absolute chaos was about to happen for Northwest Wanderers. Uh, three goals in about four or five minutes. Four on up, and now they look like comfortable winners. <laughs> Penalty and maybe a lifeline to Northwest Wonders. Uh, there wasn't any complaints about this one. More complaints about the yellow card awarded. But let's take another look. Uh, nutmegs in. It's a penalty. Uh, I was right on top of that as well. So penalty Northwest Wonders. Can they get themselves back in it? Right, and straight after this, uh, that assistant manager swearing his head off again, so I've gone over to book him. Uh, the camera doesn't pick it up. Moaning, 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 swearing about a player ran right into the box and was near the guy taking the penalty hit before it was even struck. Uh, so we're going to take a look at that. Right, so here's the replay. Um, just as the player's about to strike it, let's see where the player was. Uh, so he hasn't even completed the step. He's leaning in. If you look on the right, three Olympia players leaning in as well. Pulls it perfectly. Uh, the player then strikes the ball, keeper saves, and the player who missed the penalty taps it in. And so uh, just let me know what you would have done in that situation.
And it's 5-2 to Olympia. Uh, we're going to take a look at the goal and obviously the offside as well because every player stopped thinking it was offside. Uh, I had the perfect view of this. I was looking right at the player, keeping everyone on side. Uh, so here we go. Going to pause it here, zoom in. And there you go, the player with the arrow above his head, keeping everyone on side. You can see he's a bit slow getting up. And then it's played to this player. With all the time in the world, takes it around the keeper and slots it into an empty net. Well and that was pretty much the last kick of the game full time whistle about to go uh, Olympia 6-2 winners in the end good game of football between both teams just turning up both wanting to play football never easy calling the offsides by myself as well but I think I handled that one well uh, got the main offside calls right main decisions right as well and uh, yeah, good performance. I hope you enjoyed that match.